Hey guys, Nancy here. Welcome to my channel. This video is just a behind the scenes of how we got our kitchen from this to this beautiful, beautiful <laughs> kitchen that I'm so proud of. I wasn't able to capture every single moment, but I'll be sharing with you all the major um, changes that happened on the site and how we were able to achieve this look with our space. Now the first thing uh, our architect did was map out the kitchen and this is the block work. That's the kitchen over there. And it doesn't look very big, I know, but um, when the blocks go up, they tend to look much bigger. <laughs> so at this point, we had mapped out the windows, um, put in the piping for the plumbing and uh, did the layout for the electricity. It wasn't plastered yet. This is the kitchen um plastered they had done the pop screening for the rest of the house but the kitchen wasn't screened because of the tiling that was going to go on the walls um we made a mistake and screened the pantry because i thought initially that you didn't need to tile the pantry but i was convinced to tile it <laughs> so here is mr tyler tiling the kitchen we used white ceramic um no sorry porcelain tiles Italian ones from a company called Ceramco and these were you know very easy to fix now we Doing the tiling we had to position all the appliances and this is where we're trying to fit the hood Into that space to see you know just how much tiling needed to be done After the tiling on the wall we proceeded to do the floor now, The floor was the most exciting part because it is wooden style porcelain tiles I'd always wanted wooden floors, but I didn't want the stress that came with it. Like, I just wanted towels, easy to maintain, non uh, scratch resistant, baby friendly, no slips and falls. But I wanted, to, you know, the wood aesthetic. So we got them fixed. And as soon as we fixed the wooden towels, it started to look like a kitchen. And that is when we proceeded to do the fittings that's the cabinetry the woodwork the doors i wanted everything to be made in nigeria so i worked so hard to make sure that we didn't import anything i wanted to put money in nigerian pockets and that is exactly what we did we made our doors out of mushi um through a guy called mr okon and our kitchen we made through i really don't want to mention their names because it didn't go as smoothly as i wanted and i do not want to recommend anybody because i don't want any bad vibes coming back to me these people took so long almost four months uh to execute something that was originally stay uh slated for just a month so eventually it took us six whole months to finish this kitchen and we were supposed to move in so imagine the frustration you know but they did the woodwork first with some plywood you know see this is just the framework they had put in the the drawers for the for the cabinet the lower cabinets and it was looking real good so i came i said oh no this island is too big so i reduced the island and you know it was looking real nice so people thought i was going to do like an all brown kitchen when i shared this on instagram but i had plans to spray it so yeah this is how it looked right before you know we sprayed every single thing white and we used white glossy paint from care um that's a very good brand and the reason i like plywood over hdf is because over time um it's very you know water resistant it does well with the nigerian weather with the tropical weather it's just really long lasting in the long term which is the most important thing because yes we didn't spend so much you know with all the fancy wood we did the basics and we wanted the basics to last a long time so here's the kitchen freshly painted white um looks really amazing hadn't put the um the quartz countertops yet but it was looking really good they just sprayed everything and wow, I was like, oh my God, look at my kitchen. Yeah, but you know, kitchen, the pantry, everything was now looking really good. So I went to Orile and I got some my quartz tops and we installed them, put some holes in for the stove and the sink and the induction top. And it was really it came out really nice. I got them in white because I didn't want any um, 
any color contrast to just very interesting colors that they sell at the market so here's the kitchen with the quartz already installed and most of the appliances like the stove the inbuilt oven induction top everything in situ we hadn't gotten a deep freezer yet but you know it was starting to look a lot like the kitchen especially with the bar stools and the fridge everything installed the hood ah so this was basically um where i stopped filming the process so i hope you enjoyed watching this not so comprehensive behind the scenes of this kitchen i hope it gives you inspiration to go ahead and design the kitchen of your dreams with the resources that you have i wish you all the best god bless you